Hi guys, Jaap Kakman here from Skid River Fly Supply. Thanks for joining in. Today we're going to have a look at how to make snow runner brushes. All right, what we're going to need is uh, two drills that I've prepared with just a hook that you use for uh, hanging up uh, pictures. And I've uh, put that in the chucks. I use a little book or any kind of thing that's about the thickness so that it is up to level with the hooks. A comb, a pair of scissors, some craft wire, stainless steel, craft wire that's important, stainless steel, and this is 32 gauge. And we're going to need a piece of snow runner. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to fold the wire around the hook, pin the drill, so your hook is connected to your wire. You're going to bring that across to your other hook of your other drill. And then you can just temporarily attach that somewhere out of the way. Now we have a tight piece of wire that's across this book in this case. Next we're going to cut off a piece of snow runner close to the hide. Like that. Doesn't come very accurate, just like that. Done. Next, we're going to grab the snow runner at the lower two third aspect of the fibers and comb out the under fur. Like so. You can keep the under fur for a dubbing. It makes quite a nice dubbing for bodies. Just like that. Then you flip this piece of hair around, grab it firmly at the bottom and comb the top end out. Just like that. So that it evens out a little bit like that. Next we're going to place the snow runner on the wire here in the center and we're going to carefully spread the snow runner out evenly across the wire like so this will determine how long your brush, brush is going to be let's say for now we do something like this I leave this sticking over to the butt end quite a ways, like about uh, half an inch to start with. The more even you have it, the better it is. Just like that. Next we're going to take the wire, flip it back over top of our fibers, attach it to the hook, grab it close to the hook, like so. And again spin the drill a bit, so that our wire is now attached. Clip it off, done. Next I'm going to make sure that my fibers are at the length that I want them. About oh, maybe 3 centimeters, 2 centimeters, extending from the wire that runs here. Like that. Next, I'm going to spin the drill after I remove the book. Move the book out of the way, make sure that it didn't move too much, it did a bit, so I push it back, just like that. And now we're going to spin it. Spin the other drill the other way. Just like that, so that it firmly grabs in on the fibers. Make sure that you do this far enough so that the fibers are locked in. Next, you start combing out the brush, like so. Flick it up a little bit, like that. Once you do that for a bit and straighten out the fibers a bit, you can then 
Spin the drill some more to firmly lock in the fibers. Now spin again, both sides. Start combing again. This could take a while and you may have to repeat this a few times. All right, so now we are finished with brushing out this uh, brush. We can take the brush off the hooks and now we have a slow runner brush. And in our next episode, I'll be showing how to tie with a brush like this. Uh, make sure to subscribe on our channel by pushing the button below. And uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Bye for now.